Hey, thank you for joining us today. This is Colleen Tatum. And if this is your first time listening to Rising Through, we explore the idea that rising through a challenge is often the required ingredient for someone to get to success. That's where you, success, that's where you find your true self, your true purpose. It's like that diamond under pressure where you actually turn into something that is beautiful, turn into the you that you were always really actually meant to be. Um, and without that pressure, without that rise, you will just be kind of like a blob. You'll never kind of get there. You'll just go through life day after day, 20 years passes, 30 years passes, 40 years passes, and you've just never actually risen to that level that was always inside of you. So thank you so much for joining Rising Through. The best way to help others is if you see value in this show to please share it with them. That means a lot to me and hopefully it will provide value and help someone else as well. So today we're just going to talk about um, force as an idea that can be positive or negative. Uh, force in a scientific term, and if you're a science buff and you're listening or watching, uh, I am not. So don't send me your, your comments correcting this quote. But uh, the idea is that uh, force is required to move an object at rest. So force of some sort, you've got that rock, you need a force to get it moving. And then that momentum can carry it. But even if you think about a plane in the air, there'll be some required ongoing force. It's just not as uh, high of a need. You can just keep propelling it through that momentum. But initially, force will start something to move, but also force can stop something from moving. If you think about uh, a, an object in movement and you put your hand in front of it or you put a wall in front of it, it's going to stop. And so the idea is, is that force can be something that can propel your, your um, progress in your business, but it can also stop it. And we'll just kind of explore today some of the four forces that I find slow you down and also some of the forces that you can use to help propel you forward. So forces that slow you down. These are going to be external forces in your life. It could be internal forces, but they are those roadblocks that come up. So you've got an idea, you're moving forward on a goal, you're starting that business. What are the things that are going to stop or slow down your momentum or progress. Number one is negativity, negative people in your environment. This can be your friends, your family, the ones that are supposed to love and care about you are quite often sometimes the people that actually put a force in front of you and slow you down. Are you sure that's going to work? You're crazy. Why are you spending so much time on that? Why can't you come out and hang out with us? You're never any fun anymore. Oh, who do you think you are? This is never going to work. Oh, you're big shot now. All those kinds of negative things that sometimes people say, sometimes they say them because they care about us and they're worried for us to fail. It's so outside of their comfort zone that to see you doing something other than the normal nine to five, other than the normal uh, example that they've always seen around them is so outside of the box that it freaks them out. And anytime people are freaked out, when we feel uncomfortable, we immediately think that it's bad. Discomfort doesn't equal bad. Discomfort also can mean growth. So negative people around you are going to slow down your momentum. You cannot be around negative energy, negative words, negative attitudes, and get to where you need to go effectively. So protect that. Uh, sometimes you hear that entrepreneurship is a lonely journey. Uh, it can be. But the nice thing about today's day and age is that we can intentionally choose who we're around more and more. We can seek out good people in a way that we never have before. So if it is a force that can slow you down, being around negative people as well, intentionally being around good people are going to be a force that helps propel you even faster. Number two is an unorganized schedule. 
Many people I find in my business, in, in businesses I've seen through the years um, of over two decades of working in business myself and building big companies, small companies, working in many different environments as, a, as almost a consultant type person. Um, something that I see happen often is an unorganized schedule doesn't allow you to prioritize the things that are going to most get you to your goal. And what I mean is, you have a goal, but it's always on the side of what is happening in the moment. You're constantly chasing fires. You constantly feel like your schedule or other people infringing on your schedule are controlling your day. So it might look like you get to the office, you start answering emails, all these crises are happening because that's business <laughs> and you start to react or you get to the office and your assistant is coming in or your team is coming in with things that they need help with or they're texting you if you work at home they're calling you all of these external forces are fighting for your time and suddenly you get into reaction mode instead of actually working on your business mode and so what I find is the more organized your schedule is, the more you are going to succeed. So if a disorganized schedule is going to uh, slow you down, an organized schedule is going to help propel you. So at first I felt really like a schedule was uh, constraining me. But the more that I've fallen into a habit of it, I'm continuously trying to actually get my schedule tighter and tighter and tighter. Because what I find is the tighter my schedule is, or the more things that I'm including on my schedule, the more freedom I really have. And what I mean by that is if you're scheduling things like family time, you're scheduling your you time, you're scheduling the time when you can flop and do nothing and lay on the couch and eat a bag of chips and watch a show and feel totally okay with that. If you're scheduling those things in, as well as scheduling in your pro priority activities, putting them first, the things that are going to most give you IR. ROI in your business or in your goal, you're going to have more time spent in the things that you value. You're going to have more progress. You're actually going to be in more control of the result that you're getting. So an unorganized schedule is absolutely going to be a force that slows you down. And on the opposite side, unorganized, a detailed schedule is going to be something that is a force that helps propel you and keep that momentum going. Number three is poor health. I mean, no one plans to get sick. No one plans to get hurt. But it's one of the big reasons that take people out, isn't it? You often hear people say, you, you never um, value your health until you don't have it. And so health is something that, you know, I'm still on a journey. I'm not perfect by any means. There's other people that have this uh, way more dialed in than me, but being healthy, being intentional, moving your body every day, being aware of the things that you put in your body are going to either be something that propels your success or derails your success. If you're sick, if you're tired, if you're not motivated because you aren't moving your body, you're not fueling your body, you're unhealthy, this is going to be a force that slows you down. So I'm not suggesting that you start boiling all your food <laughs> and doing some crazy workout regimen, but I am suggesting that wherever you are today, whether that's healthy or unhealthy, kind of healthy or super healthy, how can you continuously improve on that? How can you continue to get better so that you have even more energy to be able to put into your goals, into the things that you enjoy, into the people that you love? Uh, number four is lack of vision. This is a force that will slow you down. I see so many people go out in life and they just start living, but they never have a vision. And so it looks like this. We graduate high school, we graduate university, we get a job, we just 
start living in the first town or place that we lived or got a job and we just start accumulating bills. We get a place, we get a car, we get a dog, we get a cable bill, we get all these things that we're responsible for. Then we start dating. Oh, now we're going to have a baby because we've been together for a little while. Well, I guess it makes sense to get married because we've been together for a while and suddenly 20 years goes by and you were never intentional. You never had a vision for what you wanted your life to look like. What do you want your life to look like in five years, 10 years, 20 years? And what are the steps that you need to take today to make that happen? Visualizing it is going to be something that can help propel you to it even faster. And not visualizing it is going to be a force that slows you down, whether you realize it or not. Number five is lack of faith. It plays in with lack of vision. If you don't believe that good things are for you, if you don't have some sort of faith, for me, that's a religion, that's a belief that there is a power higher than me that has a plan for me, that wants me to succeed, that wants me to do good, that wants these things for me and has promised them to me it starts to become really hard to keep going in the moments when you have struggle. And so it might not be religion, but it sure as heck needs to be a faith in something, a belief that you will prevail because those are the things that will pull you through those moments of struggle because you are going to have struggle. Struggle is part of the requirement to success. But what happens so often is people have struggle and they say, oh, see, this business isn't for me. Oh, see, this relationship isn't for me. Oh, this dream that I had, it must not be for me because I'm having some struggle. When in fact, the struggle has been sent to help you get to that dream that you have, to help you become the person that can have that life, that dream that you have. So lack of faith will be a force that will slow you down in your life. And on the opposite side, having faith will be something I believe that helps propel you towards the life that you deserve. And number six is lack of activity. I mean, lots of people in the world are really smart, really talented, have really good ideas, but they don't do anything about it. So activity, meaning momentum, is something that actually creates force. It creates energy. Sometimes you have to just actually just do some action, even when you don't feel like it, even when you're not super motivated, because that action, it's like charging a battery, right? You have to have actually movement to charge something. And so which comes first, the charge or the movement? <laughs> it's the movement. You've got to take action. So small steps and continuing those steps for long enough until you win. So most people do not take enough steps. They don't get started and they don't stay started for long enough. They quit before they ever get to the momentum part. A plane has to have a certain uh, force behind it before it will fly. No matter how long you go down that runway, if that plane needs 200 kilometers an hour to take off, no matter how long you go down that runway at 100 kilometers an hour, that plane will never take off. You have to hit 200 kilometers an hour for that plane to take off. And so many people hit their dreams, hit their goals with a 100 kilometer an hour momentum and never ever go for it, get the 200 and actually take off. And once you've taken off, man, you really don't need as much force to keep that plane in the air. But so many people never go for it. I heard a quote this week and it said, the people that win aren't the people that are more talented, that are more smart, that are more capable, that are more lucky. The people that win mostly are the people that weren't afraid to look stupid. They just went for it. They just said, I don't care. I'm going for this. And they went for it and they went for it and they went for it and they didn't stop until they won. So if there's something that you're wanting to do, my 
dream, my hope, my prayer for you would be that you just start to drown out all of the other noise, that you focus on these six forces that can either pull you up in momentum or slow you down in momentum and get really clear on, on where you're sitting with each of those things and get really clear on how you can start to incrementally change it. It's not about becoming perfect overnight. I'm certainly not perfect, <laughs> but I've learned some stuff along the way. <laughs> I've learned some stuff along the way. Those struggles that I have went through have absolutely become the little tools in my tool belt to help me help others, to help me help myself get to that next level and what a joy and a blessing it has been. So everyone has something that they need to break through. Everyone has something that they need to overcome. Yours might be different than mine, but that rising through is where the magic happens. You can do this. You can rise through. Focus on these six keys and I know that you're going to get there. I would love to hear your feedback on this. I would love to hear some of your journeys. If you're listening and you want to comment on this, I would love to hear your story. Send me a message. You can always find me online. My website right now is msh.ke slash Colleen Tatum. You can find me on Rising Through on Instagram. You can find me on TikTok under Money Matriarch. I would love to connect with you. I would love to hear your story and how um, you are rising through and how some of these lessons maybe you've experienced in your life. And if this served you and you think that what I said could help someone else, please share it. Please help me share this with other people. I appreciate you. Keep rising through and have a blessed day. Thank you so much for listening. It's always uh, an honor to have you spend some time with us. If you found this podcast of Rising Through Valuable, please like, follow, and share it with someone that you think could benefit from it. That's the best way to give um, us the kudos, our guests the kudos, and it means a ton to us. If you have been thinking that maybe you want to connect further with me, maybe about the business that I'm in or anything in general, just please follow the links in the show notes and I would love to get connected to you.